a shooting rampage in Oregon that left a Portland woman dead and five people wounded started with a confrontation between an armed homeowner and armed protesters, police say. Officers responding to reports of a shooting Saturday night discovered the woman's body and rushed the wounded, two men and three women, to area hospitals. The scene was extremely chaotic, and a number of witnesses were uncooperative with responding officers, the Portland Police Bureau said in a Most people on scene left without talking to police. A protest against police violence was just getting underway near the city's Normandale Park when the confrontation began, authorities said. Such protests have become a recurring theme in Portland a center for the national movement to defund police since George Floyd was killed by Minneapolis police in May 2020. Where has Antifa been? Anti-fascist groups stepped away from street protests, not active as police spokesman Lt. Nathan Shepard declined to reveal whether any arrests had been made or how the shooting unfolded. Detectives said they believe a large number of people witnessed what happened and possibly recorded the incident as it unfolded. This is a very complicated incident, and investigators are trying to put this puzzle together without having all the pieces, the statement said. Police are asking that anyone with information or video from the scene provide it to the investigating officers. Mayor Ted Wheeler acknowledged in a tweet late Sunday that many details remained unclear. We do know one thing for sure, our community is dealing with the sadness of another senseless act of gun violence, he said. Commissioner Joanne Hardesty echoed the sentiments, calling the shooting heartbreaking. While we need more information about what transpired, I can say that protesting for racial justice should never endanger those exercising their First Amendment rights," Hardis tweeted. Couple pardoned, Missouri Governor Mike Parson pardons St. Louis lawyer couple who waved guns at protesters Portland, like many major cities, has been struggling with increased gun violence, 